Hi everyone and welcome back to another super quick and super simple world painter tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make a really nice looking mesa biome. So to get started all you're going to need is this one brush from Jera Crafts 6 brush pack which I'll leave a link to in the description. Right, to get started we're going to want to change our brush settings. So I'm going to set the intensity right up to 100% and I'm going to have the out below setting to be 90. As you can see the height of my map down here is 80 currently. I like to go up in 10 block increments to give my mesa a tiered look. Uh, to start out with I'm going to just draw, uh, however I feel like, a kind of a maze of uh, tiered walls that will just make up the base of the mesa. So I'm going to get doing that and I'll get back to you once I draw my first layer. Okay, as you can see we've now finished our base layer. This has been done using entirely just the one brush and occasionally rotating it. Now we want to get started on our second layer. To do this all we need to do is increase our at or below level to 100. Now for our second layer, we do want to slightly overlap our previous layer in places, like so. This will just create some nice variation and it will look slightly more natural when, you've got when you're finished. Uh, so I'm going to get working on the second layer and I'll get back to you when I'm on the third layer. Okay, so that should now be the end of our second layer, and as you can see, it's starting to come together quite nicely. Now, like before, we want to increase our outer below level by a further 10 points. And, like before, we want to continue layering this up to make a nice and varied base of Okay, so I've now finished the fourth layer of my Mesa biome, and to finish off, I'm just going to quickly run over it on a low intensity brush, around 30%. I'm going to right click. I'll explain why I'm doing this when it comes to my texturing in a moment. But I also find it's nice to have some variation of terrain, otherwise, it looks a bit too flat. Perfect. Now, for our texturing, we want to use the pencil tool and our bog standard circle brush, put the intensity up to 100%. Now to get started I'm going to use the grass terrain and you're going to want to set your at or above layer to be 81. Make sure the intensity is at 100%. And this will stop anything below our mesa becoming grass where you want to keep the rest of it sandy. Well, that's my preference, that might not be what you want. Anyway, so we just colour it all in. As you can see, the entire mesa is now grass. Now I want to turn that off again and go to our degrees and set anything above 45 degrees to be a mesa. And now you can see everything on an angle below 45 degrees has become, above 45 degrees in fact, has become mesa blocks. To finish this off, I'm going to go around and where there is slightly lower areas, I'm going to add water. So I'm going to get rid of that box. There we go. So I like to think these little puddles are where like water collects because 
in my mesas at least, there is grass, which means there's going to be some form of waterfall or rainfall. Um, if you'd like, you can also like maybe add a river going through here or something. It's, it's entirely up to what you'd like to do, really. I also like to add little patches of red sand. So I'm just going to quickly go around. I'll just smooth it all up, but it should look nice when it's finished. Okay, so here is my finished mesa, and I realise now I should try and explain better the red sand. So my reason for using it is just to break up the terrain a little bit more than just having like grass everywhere. And all I've really done is any areas that are slightly dipped earlier when we did the uh, the, the terrain variation, I filled those with red sand, and there wasn't that too many of them, so I've actually gone around and I've added some more, and just using the out below. Uh, setting just filled those in with uh, red sand. I've also added a few more patches of water just to make things more varied and I think overall it looks quite nice. Now to decorate this drain I'm going to use this mesa layer which is using entirely uh, trees from Eremillion's exotic and desert tree, desert tree pack which I'll leave a link to in the description below and using the basic noise brush and an intensity of around 15%, uh, maybe a bit less than that. I'll go 15, let's see how it looks. And only on grass, just cover the entire area with that. Um, and finally, biomet. I'm just gonna just smudge this entire thing in Badlands biome and we'll see how it looks. Sorry about that, that's my broken wall painter. Right, I'm going to export this and I'll get back to you in a second. And here we go, the finished product. Uh, as you can see, it looks quite nice. Uh, I am using the uh, Conquest texture pack and some shaders, but even without them, it looks quite nice. Um, you could go around and add caves in if you like, just to make this all, more, all the more windy and twisty. But otherwise, I think we're done here. I hope this was helpful to someone, and if you have any questions, which I'm sure my awful explanations have left loads of, uh, please leave a comment and I'll try and get back to you as fast as possible. And otherwise, I'll catch you next time. Goodbye!